Um, I'd say globally it's pretty well known that Mexican people are sort of on the shorter side, generally speaking. True, but nothing like it was a couple thousand years ago. Look at this. Gonk. <laughs> This one's even shorter. <laughs> um, one of the most amazing features of many of the ancient constructions in Mesoamerica is that they built all of this stuff out of stone, but they just placed each stone on top of each other and they didn't use any kind of mortar or any kind of material in between. All of them are just placed on top of each other. And if you think about all these little stones and the way they would have to make these walls, and these have stood here through earthquake after earthquake. Uh, Oaxaca and Midla sit on the San Andreas Fault and they have earthquakes all the time. And these things have stood the test of time for over a thousand years. It's astonishing. There's always one plant do they grow one wild thing and the roots are pushing the walls that's what it's happening on that wall that is going to collapse in a few more months or a couple of years okay, okay. Mm -hmm. One of the things that always strikes me in ancient structures, the way we see it is just not the way it was originally. I mean, you can see here that this was all painted with a thick kind of glaze, and so it all would have been smooth and colored, everything. Um, that's what's that's so interesting. Like, it's just amazing to think what these things must have looked like at the time that they were made. One of the hardest things about being a tour guide is dealing with all the cameras. Look at that. What's he do? He's got a, he's a juggler, he's a, he's a camera magician. Okay, the other one in your hand, the silver one. No, in your hand. Sorry. It's just my screen will turn off and then... Yeah. I travel to